Um, this is the founding meeting. Somebody was speaking earlier today about Adam Clayton Powell, uh, right? Um, it's the founding meeting of, uh, of the Harrison's Liberty League in 1917. It's at Bethel AME Church on 132nd Street in Harlem. If you look at the listed speakers, it's Hubert Harrison, Chandler Owen, who's partners with uh, A. Philip Randolph, right? And Adam Clayton Powell, Sr. At this rally, Harrison also invites Garvey up to speak to his first major Harlem crowd. But look at the slogan. Woodrow Wilson had led the U.S. This is going to sound familiar to the younger generation. Bush led us into Iraq to make the Mideast. After we didn't believe the weapons for mass destruction, we were told it was to make the world safe for democracy, or make Iraq safe for democracy. Wilson leads us into World War I to make the world safe for democracy. Harrison says, let's make the South safe for democracy, because there's lynching, <laughs> segregation, disfranchisement. Stop lynching and disfranchisement. So that was the slogan. That was the militancy. And that organization is demanding enforcement, 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment, federal anti-lynching legislation. And Harrison is speaking of armed self-defense 44 years before Robert F. Williams at these meetings. Huh? That's a flyer for the rally, 19th, but they, but, and this is in, in June, this is June 12th, in July 4th, the first issue of Harrison's paper, The Voice comes out. Is that, is that in the this, this flyer is in there, yeah. Here, again, I mentioned about Harrison, New Negro, here's just a sample of Harrison's New Negro ma uh, Monthly. Look at some of the titles, The Women of Our Race, Education in West Africa, the White War and the Colored Races, Two Negro Radicalisms. So these are very radical publications he's putting out. 1919, six years before Locke, right? Drive home this point about the New Negro Movement and Harrison's role as a founder, and how can somebody write about the New Negro Movement and not mention him? In the book, we have a, volume one has 180 pages on Harrison and the New Negro Movement. He, first paper, first organization, publication called The New Negro, right? 1920, the book that I'm redoing with Diasporic Africa Press, look at the title. When Africa Awakes, the inside story of the stirrings and strivings of the new Negro in the Western world. 